hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for today from long time i am trying to boot the android 13 basic custom gs on galaxy tab 18.1 but none of custom rom booted on the galaxy tab 10.1 smt515 but we are so lucky that i got the android 14 basic cr droid v12 which was booted on this edge device with a simple flashing so today in this video we'll see how to install the gs on galaxy tab a SMT515. We will test what are the essential features working, what are the amazing features of Android 14 are available in this GSI, what are the amazing features of highly customizable C Android available in this ROM. Finally, at last, I shown the major bugs of this ROM. So, watch this video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. A new adventure. Flashing of this GSI is simple like we did in the previous videos. We need the new TWRP 3.7. Download and unzip the XZ file using the Z archiver. We will get the image file. Transfer the image file in the tablet. Then boot your device into the TWRP. Then tap install. Then tap install image. Select our CR Droid image file. Wait for flashing. Once done, tap wipe and do the format data and reboot to system. That's it. Our tablet started to boot into the new gorgeous boot animation of CR Droid. This is a highly customizable CR Droid launcher. Let's check out the about device section. Under the device detail, it's showing this device is the Galaxy Tablet SMT515. This ROM will also works on the Galaxy Tablet SMT510. Android version is 14 with the Google's new material U Easter egg. Maintainer of this GSI is Nazim. Kana version is 4.4.117. Build date of ROM is 23rd of December 2023. Now we'll take the look of all the Android 14 features which are working in the ROM, which are self explanatory, so I will not explain them. Now comes the most important part that is what are the essential features of working. ROM is fully working, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, locations, all are working good. Bluetooth is also working, it's connecting with my Xbox Crystal T8 earbuds with all HD audio codecs. Problem is only that few LT calling is not working on the Samsung devices on any of such GSI. But the LTE data is working and while making the calls and for incoming calls and network switches to the automatically GSM so call will work. ROM comes with the basic clean edge OS aperture camera application which has working camera and video recording. As this device has the very simple camera we just need it should work and it is working good. So basically most of the essential features are working but there are some major issues that we will discuss under the bugs and the missing features section of this video. Now let's took the some important features available in the highly customizable CR Droid. 
Under the CR door setting, we get the different tabs categorized into the different customization sections. Under the status bar and the clock date option, we get the most likely feature that is the background chip for the status bar clock, which gives the materialistic look to the status bar. We can add the date and second in the clock too. We get the network traffic indicator with the different customization options. Next, I like the another feature available under the quick setting panel that is the QS header images. Here we get the lots of header images presets for the QS panel, and this one gives the nice look to the QS header on such big screen or tablets. Under the lock screen, we get some amazing lock screen clock fonts, but this may override the new under 14 clocks. Next, we get the advanced mode theming option in the setting where we can set our own background colors and the ascent colors with the chroma and luminance factor. We get the bunch of the navbar style, font styles, icon packs, signal and wafer icons, icon shapes, etc. Switching volume slider position is also one of the important setting I think which is available in this room. Next under the mission setting we get the advanced game space setting, unlock higher pace for the games, Netflix spoofing, unlock unlimited photo backup for the Google photo application and pocket mode detection. Except this, who gets the highly customizable CR dot launcher, which has double tap to sleep on the home screen, wallpaper zooming for the home screen customization. Under the app drawers, who gets the app drawer theming setting. The sense panel has the advanced setting of the memory bar, information, screenshot, lens, clear all, shake device to clear all the applications from the memory. Under the mission setting of the launcher, we get the new advanced taskbar which is working flawlessly now. We have to just swipe up from the navigation wheel and we are able to access all the home screen dock application with the app drawer option. We can drag any dock application in the currently running application and it will work like the split screen application. We can open any app drawer application anywhere and we can add it in the recently running application and it works like a split screen. We can access different shortcuts of dock apps by long pressing on the icons. So these are all the highly and most likely customizations for me in the CR Droid. Now it's time to show you the major bugs and the missing features. First issue is the same that we didn't catch the view LT working in the GSI for Samsung devices, but incoming and outgoing calls will work automatically because network will switch us back to the GSM network. Call recording feature is not working in the dialer. Under the wallpaper and style application setting, we didn't catch the AI generated wallpaper and emojis wallpaper, which are the missing features of Android 14. No ambient display is working even if we enable the ambient display setting via PHS Trebles option. Like all the previous JSA, in this JSA we can't able to access the internal storage when device is on. We can only able to access the storage when the device is in the TWRP mode or we can able to use the USB OTG for file transfer. If you try to restart or reboot the device, it will take too much time of 10 to 15 minutes, but sometimes device will not boot, it goes into the TWRP. Later device will not boot, we have to do the format data in the TWRP. This one is the serious issue. Another major issue is that ROM didn't come with the inbuilt G apps, so we have to use the macro G as a replacement for the Google applications. So there are lots of major issues are there in the ROM, especially the last two issues that we discussed previously. But still, if you want to test the new look of Android 14 on this AJ tablet, you can use it as a second daily driver device with this ROM, which has the better performance and the user interface look as compared to other Android versions. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Soon it's time. Take care. Bye-bye.